What's up everyone, today I'm going to be going over all my updated 2024 Valorant settings. This includes my in-game settings, my NVIDIA settings, and my keyboard and mouse settings. Starting off, let's get into my general settings. For enemy highlight color, I have mostly been playing on yellow. I've tried them all, but I always end up going back to yellow because I feel like it's easiest for me to spot enemies and I just like it better. Moving on to sensitivity. Now, I won't lie, I changed this quite a lot. But lately, I've been trying to stick with 0.35, 800 DPI because I feel like my aim's good on it and I'm way more consistent. I've tried slower sense, but I can't turn flashes out well. So for me personally, I like a mid to high sense. Now for scope, as you can see, I have it on 0.8 just because I like it being a little slower if I op, marshal, or outlaw, which I've been outlawing a lot more. So it just helps with my aim. Again, I change my sense a lot. So if you're wondering what I'm on, just go to my Twitch and type exclamation sense. Raw input buffer. I have this on, which you should as well if you're playing on a higher polling rate. Just make sure you turn raw input buffer on if you're using a higher polling rate mouth. I think I'm on like 4000 right now, so that's why I have it on. Moving on to my map settings. Here they are. I know a lot of people have keep player centered off, but I keep it on because I just get lost looking at my map if it's off, so I like it better this way. Now, if we scroll down, I have mostly all of this set to default, except for show mature content. Usually this is off. Just because I don't like the corpses being on the ground or the blood. I feel like it's more of a distraction than anything and I just like the sparks instead of blood so I keep mature content off. Bullet tracers I have off as well because I feel like whenever I'd spray I would just focus too much on the tracers themselves than the enemy so I turned it off and it helped a lot. Spectator count I have it off as well. I'm not sure why but if you get nervous and don't like when people spectate you just turn it off that way you don't know and don't get in your head about things. And scrolling down I'm pretty sure all of this is just set the default i'm not really sure i don't really like mess with any of this but that was it for the general settings i don't really change too much now onto my controls so for actions i use my thumb mouse button 2 for ability 3 which is like my dash or dismiss if i play jet and reyna other than that i think it's just mostly all default but honestly this is all just personal preference whatever you think's best for you you should do scrolling down i have the normal w a s t right here and I have default movement mode set to run because I don't want to move like a snail throughout the map the whole time. Walk is set to left shift and mouse wheel down. I'll get into that in a second. Toggle walk I have set to off. Now jump. I jump with scroll wheel down but I have space bar bound as well. So if I'm playing jet I can glide down when holding space bar. So you may be wondering why do I have mouse wheel down set to jump and walk. Now the reason for this is because anytime I jump it forces me to walk which creates a silent jump. So it's only to make it like easier, I guess. That way, if you have to do a silent jump, all I have to do is scroll wheel down and I do it without having to hold shift. And then crouch, I just have it set to my mouse button, like my side button, because my thumb's already there, so it's just easy to click. Now onto equipment. Um, so onto equipment, I don't know what default settings are, but I have aim down sights on toggle just because I don't like holding it. But sniper rifle, I do like holding it. And that's what I prefer. So I think it just makes it easier for me. So I have sniper set to hold, reload, R, and then the normal key binds. I don't use scroll wheel for my guns, which you probably should stop if you are using it. Um, now auto equip, I have it to strongest. That way, if I like tap bomb or run out of ammo, it goes to my next strongest gun. That still has ammo or whatever it may be. Same with no auto equip melee. I just don't want it pulling out my melee. I want it pulling out like whatever is reloaded. And then these, these don't really matter, but here are these my spray Z and then my inspected is E. And then communications, uh, party chat is N and then team voice chats V. I just click them both with my thumb. I don't use any of these except for maybe middle mouse button for pings because my middle mouse finger is just on my right click and I just have to move it over to ping. It doesn't really take much time. Now these, these don't really matter. I don't think I changed anything here. Now my crosshairs, if you have any questions about my crosshairs, just comment down below. I have a lot, but I mostly just use this or this one, the dot. Here are the settings for the dot crosshair and then settings for this it's just one four two zero for this now i use white but a lot of the time i just swap between white or custom which is just all black which 
if you want all black just do custom and all zeros other than that if you want any other crosshairs just comment down below or type in my twitch chat that's basically it for that so video settings it's pretty basic my res i sometimes swap between native and 1600 by 1080 depending on how i'm feeling and i don't think you guys have 1600 by 1080 i think you have to make a custom res and i'll show you how to do that after this but all this doesn't really matter i just have it all off my fps i sometimes cap it um nvidia reflex low latency just you should probably be doing on or on plus boost i've been swapping between the two i don't really notice too much of a difference so i'm just on plus boost right now now my graphics settings i have it all set to low that way i could have the max fps and the lowest latency possible now for my stats i just have fps on that way i know when i'm dropping fps or like what i'm dropping to when i can notice it and other than that i have everything hidden except for shooting error which I just recently started using this. I have on show both, which it's just so like if I whiff, I know if I was moving or whatnot and I don't make excuses. And then audio this doesn't really matter. Usually I have it like maxed or like right here ish. But for now, I'm just turning it down. Here's these and then these. So. That's basically all for my Valorant settings. If you have any questions, once again, comment down below or type in my Twitch chat. Now let's get on to my NVIDIA control panel settings. Now my NVIDIA settings, I don't really change that much in here. I have this set to let the 3D application decide. But for managed 3D settings, it's just all default. I haven't changed anything. I could do optimizations. I'm just lazy. Adjust desktop color settings. I have my digital vibrance set to 70 just because normal Valorant if it's set to 50, it looks kind of dull, and I don't really like the coloring of it. And that's basically it for this part. And then desktop size and position, I just have both my monitors set to no scaling and have it set to the highest refresh rate, which is 240 in my case, and the other monitor is 75. Now, I don't have the option, but if your monitor does support G Sync, you should turn it off for Valorant. That's what I did whenever I had it on. I just turned it off and it made it a lot better so for my custom valor resolution the 1600 by 1080 all you have to do is click here change resolution click customize and then i think you have to enable this i'm not sure and then create custom resolution and then you type whatever you want in this case 1600 by 1080 make sure your refresh rate's the right thing and then click test which i already have one so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna cancel this and then you should open up Valorant and see it. If not, restart your game, make sure it's saved in here, and you should have the res I use. That's it for NVIDIA control settings. I don't think I change anything else here. But if I do realize that I did change anything and I forgot it, I'll just pin it in the comments or something. I don't know. So let's get on to my keyboard and mouse settings. So my keyboard settings, I have the Wooting 60HE, as you can see. And I have a lot of profiles, but this is the main one I use. Now, for this, all I do is set my actuation to point 0.1 except for spacebar and left shift because I noticed spacebar, I would accidentally click it, which I didn't want to do anymore. And then left shift, I would either let go or just like click it on accident as well. And I have rapid trigger on and tachyon mode on. And other than that, I think that's all I change here. And like the color, I don't know if I said that, but I changed the color. And that's basically it for my keyboard settings. Now for my mouse settings, I have the Lamzu Atlantis. So I have everything basically set to default, as you can see, except for my DPI. Sometimes I change this from 800 to 1600. I have 4K Hertz polling rate and motion sync. Usually it's on, but I have it off right now because I don't really notice a difference. But other than that, I think it's pretty normal. I have another profile where I have this set to one millisecond. I don't really notice anything there either. So right now it's just set to four. And yeah, I think this is it for my mouse settings. So this is this is all. Nothing really too special. I forgot to mention for my wooding settings, I will be leaving the profile link in the description. That way you could just like type it in by clicking this right here and then putting the code. That way you just have my settings if you want it, if you have this keyboard. And for my mouse, 
I also forgot to mention that I just have default skates with the default grips on it. So nothing, nothing really special about that. That was all. That's been my settings for Valorant. And if you have any questions, once more, ask them down below or in my Twitch chat, which will also be linked in the comments or description down below. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped. And yeah, see ya.